Hey guys, Kim here from Kim on a Whim. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing nothing but laundry. If you saw my last video, you saw that I finally got my washer and dryer. Um, I will give you the little backstory of that of why it's like two weeks worth of laundry that I'm doing here. But I'm jumping right into just getting some of the laundry done. I did have so much laundry that I had to wind up separating everything in the kitchen and just leave piles on the kitchen floor. So it made it a little easier than trying to step around it here in the laundry room since it's such a small space back here. One, I will say, excuse my voice, um, I've been sick for like the last probably seven, about seven days now. Um, every time I tried to get on to do the voiceover for the video, I just, I couldn't say a sentence without just coughing uncontrollably. Um, I will say like me and I were talking about, I'm like, I don't even remember the last time that I was sick. So this one really kind of got me and it's just, it's all in my throat and the cough. Like I feel okay. And even when I was in the thick of it, I felt okay. Just a little tired, but I just couldn't like the cough just kept coming. And of course, worse at night when you're trying to sleep and just like a hacking cough, but on my way to getting better. It's, it's definitely getting better each day. Um, still a little bit of a lingering cough, and that's why like my voice is a little raspy and dry. But I will go into the story of why two weeks to finally get my washer and dryer in just a few minutes. So the reason I think I said it in the last video why we needed to get a new washer and dryer it was actually our dryer that went um, like completely went so we needed to get a new dryer and my washer that I had I've had it for a little while it was the one without the agitator just the impeller and I didn't feel like it was getting the clothes as clean as the washer I had before which did have an agitator but the story about why it took two weeks to finally get my washer and dryer we actually had a set in the house um, trying to think now probably a week after we decided you know the washer the dryers done let's just get the set um, I got the washer and I did a load of laundry because you're supposed to let them know if there's any issues like as far as the manufacturer stuff within 48 hours so I figured all right let's get a load of laundry done so I can make sure everything's working right and I noticed with the washer that the clothes a couple of my one of my shirts one of my husband's shirts and a brand new pair of shorts that I had just gotten I wore them one time they all had pulls on them when I took them out of the dryer so I'm like okay the only thing different is the agitator on the washer so let me go in and see like what's going on and I ran my finger along the agitator of the first washer that we had here and you could feel like it was rigid in certain spots and I don't know where it was like the seams came together or if it was just a manufacturer's defect so I got on the phone immediately and told them listen like it's making pulls in my clothing and they said okay let's set up a time to come and get it um because I didn't want like he's saying you know do you want to try another load and Sam I'm like I really don't because one I don't want any more pulls on any of my other clothing like the clothing that it did happen to it sucked but not a huge deal like one of it was just a t-shirt that I sleep in another one was my husband's just a t-shirt so it wasn't a big deal but I didn't want to lose that window of them taking it back without any issues so I'm like you know what now let's just set up the time for you to come and get it so that's what we did and that was on a Monday that they came and picked it up and I had already ordered my other set that weekend before and they were supposed to deliver it I believe it was that following Monday however 
their truck broke down and they couldn't deliver it. So I had to wait until the following Monday because apparently they only deliver in our area on certain days and it was on Mondays and Fridays. So with a little back and forth with the shipping company, because I have to say I wasn't too happy about that, but that wasn't on the part of the seller. It was on the part of the delivery team. Um, Cause I'm like, why wouldn't you just book me the next day? Since, you know, it wasn't a, an issue that I had to cancel the appointment it was they had to postpone it because of mechanical issues on their end. So you would have thought like, okay, I'd be the next day, but apparently it doesn't work that way. And we had to wait another week. So that's why there was two weeks worth of laundry that needed to be done. Cause I got to tell you, we were on our last towel, like that towel that you see on the top is the beach towel that we've had for probably like 10 years. And it usually sits at the very bottom of the pile. And that's like the last towel that nobody wants to use. <laughs> We were down to using that towel. That's how bad it was. I mean, I'll show you like little blips of the piles that are in the kitchen. You saw already the piles that were in the kitchen, but I slowly get to work through those piles. Now, I thought when I separated everything that I checked all the pockets, but I found a pair of my husband's pants that had something in the pocket. So, of course, I had to go through and check all of the pockets again. Luckily, that was the only thing I found because the last thing I wanted was any coins or anything being in the pockets. Um, we tend to leave chapsticks, especially in sweatshirt, uh, the, like the little pouch on the hoodies. That's one that we find a lot, um, but... Luckily, nothing else was in the pockets, and I didn't have the patience for like the little, like little spout thing on the uh, laundry detergent. So I just used the you take the cap off and just dump it in that way because there was just way too much wash to be standing there holding that little little pump thing. Shaking from the urge of being with him I act a little dumber when I try to get his number I'm so nervous that I'm losing grip of myself Ah, my body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips Ah, I wanna run him through his hair But don't stare I get a little starstruck when I see him I couldn't hit him even if I tried I'm slowly making progress through the piles of laundry. I will say the learning curve of any new appliance. Um, I wasn't quite sure how to do like the extra fill and this, that, and the other, but I did need to get some stuff put away because I knew as the piles were starting to grow on the back of the sofa, they would just wind up falling over and then I have to refold everything that I just folded. So I figured let me just start getting stuff put away so that I don't have to worry about that. And just like that, through the magic of editing, we have pile number three folded and ready to be put away. And I'll show you again the progress that we're making on the piles here because it's getting there. Slowly but surely, we are definitely getting there. I 
Okay, so we saw pile number four was done and now we we're moving on to number five and this was it. This is when I was calling it a night. I was done at this point. It was like 10 o'clock at night. I was still folding clothes and I just wanted to be done. So I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys did get some motivation here to throw that load of laundry in or whatever it is that you needed to get done today. Um, it is the beginning of a holiday weekend. So I hope everybody has a healthy and safe Memorial Day and enjoy friends, family, barbecue, and above all, remember what this day is truly about. And I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Put this on.